Chuck from Chuck Wagon MTG. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're bringing you another box opening, and this one is going to be from the brand new set, Ixalan. Uh, I just could not be more excited about this set. I just, I, I'm tickled pink. I mean, it's the merfolk alone have me going nuts, and then we have you know dinosaurs and pirates, and I mean we got vampires too, but it's just it's it's amazing. So. Uh, I do want to give a quick shout out to BC Comics of Fenton. Thank you very much for uh, letting me order product from you guys and being open at midnight so I could come get it and not have to wait until the next day. Greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's go ahead and bust open this box. Uh, actually, first off, we've got the, the new Buy a Box packs that they're doing. So we're going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open and see what kind of good stuff we got. Uh, I do kind of like this... Uh, what they're doing here with this. Um, I think it's, uh, I guess, a step into what they're going to start doing, but we'll leave that speculation to the other YouTubers. So we have a Sorcerer's Spyglass, Fetid Pools, Wildfire Eternal, a Johnny Unyielding, a Foil Fell Flagship, a Foil Ceremonious Rejection like that, and God, that beautiful land, the beautiful, beautiful land, and then Burning Sun's Avatar. That is just, God, these are, st wow. <laughs> I, I'm in love with these lands. I really am. Oh, yeah, so not a bad uh, buy-a-box pack. I mean, the Ceremonious Rejection foil, that's not too bad. A Johnny, Planeswalkers are always a good thing. Lands are always a good thing. And the Spyglass, that looks fun. So, yeah, all right. So, we're not doing too shabby. We're going to go ahead and stick those off to the side. And then we're going to go ahead and crack open this booster box. I know you're all sitting here chomping at the bit, saying, shut up and get to opening the box. And, yeah, you know, I apologize. I should know better. So, let's just go ahead and get on with this. This wonderful... Oh, man, I love it. The smell, even, when you crack these boxes is just... I love it. I absolutely love it. Got Vraska staring us down from the front there. All right, let's go ahead and toss this box. Get these situated, and man, I'm just I, I'm so geeked for this set. I, I'm just <laughs> oh, I, I, it, you know, I I love all pack openings, but uh, it's been a while since I've been this excited about a new. Uh, new magic set. Uh, per usual, we're going to go ahead, we're going to skip past all the comment. You know what we're going to do? I am so excited. We're going to do a fun little giveaway. Didn't even announce this. Um, the kind of top of the uh, mind thing here. Uh, but one of my, another one I'm, I'm great looking forward to is we got the new uh, Opt is now a standard and, hey, modern thing. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to look for ops and if we can get a play set in this first stack um leave a comment somewhere on this video and then we'll take all the comments and one of you guys will uh, get a play set of opt how about that that sounds fun let's do that none in that stack we'll put it aside all right here we go finally we have imperial lancer storm fleet aerialist bellowing a agisaur 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 Star of Extinction, Mythic right off the top, rip it, that's kind of awesome. Um, I love the flavor of this card too, <laughs> I mean it's just, it's it, it's good stuff. It's destroy a land, destroy pretty much everything on the board, um, you know, unless it's indestructible. It, it's very fitting with the whole dinosaur landscape. So let's see, okay, we get any ops here. We did not. We, we got plenty to go, though, so we're good. All right, we have a Sleek Schooner. Schooner, there we go. Makeshift Munitions. Raging Sword Tooth. And second pack out of the box. And two Mythics. We get a flipping Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> well, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Look at that. Tell you what, this is the way I like to start off opening boxes. This ain't bad at all. Now we just gotta find some ops. No, not yet. Okay. All right. We have Grim, Captain's Call, Elaborate Fire Cannon, Stormfleet Spy, and Sun Petal Grove as our rare. I'm glad to see those come back too. 
Um, but I will say, a lot of them, I'm not digging the new art as much as the old school stuff. All right, we have a Wild Growth Walker. Bright Reprisal, Dead Eye Quartermaster, and our rare is River's Rebuke. Good stuff there. Can't believe the first two packs were Mythics, and especially the Carnage Tyrant. That guy's kind of up there right now, price-wise. I think he's sitting somewhere around 30 35 We have our first opt. All right, we have a Sentinel Totem. That card's going places. Uh, Atzakan Archer, Dire Fleet Captain, and Regisaur Alpha as our rare. We're not, uh, we're going to go ahead and put that on right there so we can keep an eye on him. Um, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I'm just, <laughs> I am head over heels for this set. Uh, the dinosaurs are great. Um, the pirates are great. Uh, vampires are definitely not bad, but merfolk, yes please. Slice and Twain, Duskborn Sky Marcher, River Sneak, and Sunbird's Invocation, and we have our Foil Inspiring Cleric. Awesome sauce. Alright, come on, opt, come on, opt, no opt. All right, we have Stormfleet Arsonist, Emergent Growth, Atep, Atepic, Atepic, Huntmaster. I don't know why that guy could give me so much trouble. I don't know. It is what it is. We have Angrath's Marauders. So, just curious, how was y'all's pre-release? How'd you do? What kind of fun stuff did you pull? What kind of fun stuff did you pull... Uh, in your openings of this brand new set. I know people are opening like mad right now. We have Rallying Roar, Raging Raptors, Call to the Feast, and our rare is Growing Rites of Itlamak. That is the wonderful Flip Gaia's Cradle card. That's just, that's fun in a bun right there. We're going to go ahead and put that over here with the good stuff. I, I don't think it's worth... Uh, quite as much as like Carnage Tyrant. I still think it's like 10 bucks or so, maybe a little bit more. All right, come on, opt, 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 opt. No opt. We have Kamenis Speaker, Raptor Hatchling, that guy's pretty good. Sky Terror, that guy's pretty good. And Priest of the Awakening Sun, Sun, Stun. And we have Queen's Bay Soldier as a foil. All right, we'll take foils. We like foils. All right, tell you what, it's looking like the playset in the first stack was a little uh, presumptuous, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna extend that to uh, to two stacks. That's what we're gonna do. We have Navigator's Ruin, Ruthless Knave, Sky Tear, and our rare is Rootbound Craig. So, another one, I'm just curious what you guys are going to be playing here now with the new standard that we have going with all the stuff that rotated out. I've been seeing a lot of good uh, ideas for decks online, so I, I think this is going to be a healthy standard right now. We have Wanted Scoundrels, Atzakan Archer, Deadeye Plunderers, and Kinjali's Sunwing. Last pack of that first stack. No opt in that either. Lookout's Dispersal. Bishop of the Bloodstained. This guy was a beast in Limited. Air Elemental. Glad you're back. And Verdant Sun's Avatar. Oh, wrong stack. All right, stack number two. Let's find those ops. Alright, we have Sheltering Light, Ixlon's Binding, pretty good stuff, Deathless Agent, and our rare is Admiral 
Beckett Brass. Third Mythic of the box? Yeah, third Mythic. That's right, we hit two right off the bat, didn't we? Yeah, I'm going to put that back over there because it's just messing up my, my game here. I, I don't know what's going on. Pirates and merfolk, and it's just it's all sorts of crazy. All right, we have Verdant Rebirth, Rallying Roar, Lurking Chupacabra. I, I don't know why I'm so excited about that card. <laughs> I just am. We have Vance's Blasting Cannons. That's another one that uh, I'm excited about that one. That's fun stuff right there. Come on, opt. Man. I would have thought I pulled would have pulled at least one more by now. Being a common and all. Alright, we have Raiders Wake. Deadeye Plunders. Uh Adanto Vanguard. And our rare is Revel in Riches. That card's gonna be fun. I've already seen a couple builds around that that just they look pretty fun. Did we no, man. All right, we have Steadfast Armasaur. That guy was pretty good in Limited. Ixlon's Binding, Deathless Agent, and our rare is Sanctum Seeker. And then we got a Foil, Legion's Judgment. Ooh, that is a pretty sexy foil. I like that. On with the packs. Bell Pierce. Another one drop. Not the one drop we're looking for, though. All right. We have Vicious Conquistador. Rigging Runner. Lurking Chupacabra. And our rare is Ashes of the Adhorrent. As I struggle to open this pack for some odd reason. Come on. Opt. Opt, 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 opt. Man. All right, we got favorable wins. Kite sail freebooter, charter course, and our rare is Fathom Fleet Captain. And then we got a rare. Oh, sweet! Our foil rare is a Dream Caller Siren. Go ahead and take that. I like me some foil rares. All right, can we hit one more opt? Guess not. We have Belligerent Brontodon. Marauding Looter. Walk the Plank. That's fun in a bun right there. And our rare is Herald of Secret Streams. Merfolk. I, I, I'm just, I'm so excited about playing Merfolk in Standard. Um, I, I personally don't think it's going to be one of the best decks out there, but I'm still going to play it. Um, I'm building other stuff, but... Uh, dang it, I'm going to be playing Merfolk in Standard. I mean, how can you not? All right, we have Dusk Legion Dreadnought. Tempest Collar. That guy is such a beast in Limited. Uh, Merfolk Branchwalker, and our rare is Blood Crazed Paladin. Oh, I got excited. I saw the one blue. Oh, another one from blue. No, no, no. It's just teasing us now. We have Trove of Temptation. Verdant Rebirth. Unclaimed Territory. There we go. And another Herald of Secret Secret Streams. So even the packs are saying I should play more folk. Second opt. <laughs> Only took us a third of the box. All right, we have a Sleek Schooner, Makeshift Munitions, Shapers of Nature, and our rare is Conqueror's Galleon. Another one of those wonderful flip cards. All right, we have Wild Growth Walker, Lightning Strike, Seeker's Squire, and our rare is Death Gorge Scavenger, and we got a Foil Swamp. Ooh. 
that's kind of purdy. I like that. <clears throat> All right, last pack. I highly doubt we're going to pull two ops. Um, so let's go ahead and continue this for the remainder of the box. If we can pull a an, an play set of ops, I'll give it away to somebody here who leaves a comment. All right, we have Inspiring Cleric. Deep Root Waters, that's going to be fun on a bun. Chart, of course, and our rare is... Ho -ho. We have Hotly. Hotly? Yeah, I think that's how you that. Warrior Poet, the Dinosaur Walker. And we got a foil at Zakan Archer. Well, this is a good pack. I'm kind of digging this. What's that, four Mythics for the box? Okay, that's kind of on par there. All right, so we can have fun and a bun we can get. All right, we have Raiders Wake, Thundering Spineback, Emissary of Sunrise, and Maverin Fiend Dusk Apostle. Yeah, I, I'm one, I think I got one of those during pre-release, and I want to say it wasn't too shabby. Come on, opt. Man. All right, we have Kimena's Speaker. Bishop of the Bloodstained, Air and Metal, and our rare is Tashana, Voice of Thunder, our fifth mythic of the box. That card is just EDH everywhere. Um, I, I got kind of excited when I first saw that card, because uh, of the implications of possibly, you know, in the, the, uh, Coco Merfolk build, but then I saw the casting cost, it's like, nope, that just not happening. All right, we have Trove of Temptation, Raging Raptors, Charging Monster Sword, that is just, like, I said in our previous video, that is a perfect name for a card like this. All right, we have Vanquisher's Banner. That's the Anthem one for Tribal that lets you draw. It's just, it's good stuff. Come on, opt, 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 opt. There we go. There's number three. We just need one more, one more opt. All right, we have Imperial Lancer. Stormfleet Aerialist. Drove of the Mighty and our rare is Kapala, Warden of Waves. All right, I need that chicky right there although I've heard a lot of people say that this is essentially uh, oh warden of waves just under a different name like some kind of witness protection program for merfolk or something I, I don't know anywho all right we have wily goblin vine shaper mystic bonded horncrest and our rare is drowned catacomb Come on, opt. Okay. We have Lookouts, Dispersal, Savage Stump, Fiery Cannonade, and our rare is Bishop of Rebirth. Uh, that one was another one that did me some good during pre-release. Bring stuff back to the battlefield? Don't mind if I do. And actually, I wound up getting the dinosaur that gives everything double strike, too, uh, in that, so... All right, we have Sheltering Light, Walk the Plank, Glorifier of Dusk, and our rare... They did it to me again. Thrash of Raptors as a foil, and then our rare is Primal Amulet. Yay! All right, we got, what, five packs to pull one more opt. All right, we have Perilous Voyage, Raider's Wake, Imperial Aerosaur, and our rare is Old Growth Dryads. Oh, I got excited. I saw that one. 
All right, we have Inspiring Cleric. Siren Storm Tamer. Good stuff right there. That's... I'm, I'm calling it. This is possibly Modern Merfolk. This guy right here. Just... I'm just saying. It, it's a possibility. Anyways, we have Dark Nourishment. And our rare is the Fell Flagship. All right. camera got kind of skewed there i don't know what happened sorry about that folks all right come on opt we got our fourth op winner winner chicken dinner so all right we got a play set right there if you want to go ahead and just leave something in the comments it doesn't even necessarily have to be about hey i want to do the whole thing with the op just leave me a comment and uh we'll go ahead and enter you in some kind of drawing or something we'll do i don't know the prize wheel thing and select someone to get a place at ops i mean I, it's not like insanely good like oh my goodness that's so much money but it's just i'm excited i want to give something away so get some ops <laughs> all right we have dusk legion dreadnought dire fleet captain glorifier of dusk and our rare is emperor's vanguard Two packs left. See what kind of other good stuff we can get. I mean, this box kind of fizzled out after an insanely strong start. We'll see what we can do, though. We have Pillar of Origins, Dinosaur Stampede, Bond, Bonded Horncrest, and our rare is Fleet Swallower. Last pack. Let's make the magic happen. Any more ops? Just curious, I guess. <laughs> All right, nope. All right. Vicious Conquistador. Rigging Runner. Snapping Sailback. And our rare is Search for Ezcanta. That one I will definitely take. That's fun right there. All right. Well, I'll tell you, let's go ahead and recap what we got here. We got the four ops. That's fun. Um, so some one of you lucky guys is going to get that. We have Search for Ascanta. That's going to be something. Um, now, I could be wrong on these prices. I don't remember if, what this stuff is worth exactly. But Drowned Catacombs, I think, is something. Kapala, I don't know. We'll see. Vanquish Banners, a couple bucks, I'm pretty sure. Um, this guy's a couple bucks. Um, Blood Craze Paladin, I think, is a couple uh fathom fleet captain i believe is but i i could be wrong on that revel i don't remember vance's blasting captains i don't think is worth much but I, I think it might be eventually growing rights that is definitely worth something rootbound crags pretty much all the lands are worth a little something uh this guy's like seven another land um and then we did get the uh tishana voice of thunder not overly expensive, but it's still a mythic, and it's cool. It does cool stuff. Uh, the Warrior Poet, that one's pretty good. I think that's around six bucks, seven bucks from around there. Admiral Beckett, only a couple bucks, but still nice. Um, actually, no, I think he's going up. I think he's like four or five right now. He, is that a he? That may not be a he. I don't know. I don't know. We'll debate that later. Um, anyways, we got Carnage Tyrant. This guy's worth a pretty penny, I know that. And Star of Extinction, I really don't think it's worth anything, but uh, it's still a mythic, and it has insane flavor for the set. Um, as for our foils, uh, Thrash of Raptors, Etzcan Archer, The Swamp, that's beautiful. Um, Inspiring Cleric, that might be a little something, but I'm not sure. Queen's Bay, not really. Leona's Judgment. And then we did get the... Uh, Leonin's Judgment, Legion's Judgment, and the Dreamcaller Siren Foil. So, honestly, I don't think we did too bad on this box. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy how this turned out. So, uh, once again, don't forget to leave a comment in the video. Get yourself entered uh, for a play set of Ops. Um, I'll go ahead and we'll fire this in, I don't know, like a week or something. Uh, tell you what, by next Thursday, we'll go ahead and fire it. Um, yeah, this is like I said, this we I didn't plan this is just kind of off the top of my head type thing. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching. It's greatly appreciated. If you liked what you saw, 
hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your family. They need this kind of magic in their life. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, Chuck Wagon MTG.